Hey, it's Andre, and I've got yet another ASR case. This one is the ASR hybrid case, and it's for the iPhone 13 Pro. It is one of ASR's lowest value, let's call it budget cases, but don't let its low value detract you from the quality and protection that you get with ASR products, especially with their cases like this. When I'm looking at getting a case for my phone, I judge the case in three different categories, the look, the feel, and the protection. Now let's start with the look. It's crystal clear, which the downside to all these ones is that they are fingerprint magnets, always needing to be wiped to remove those imprints. But at least it's not going to turn yellow thanks to the anti-yellowing built-in resistance. So no matter what color iPhone you have, like I've got the Sierra blue one here, you're gonna be able to see that color through the transparent ASR case for at least the first few years of usage. It's scratch resistant back means that when you turn your phone over to look at its beautiful color, the only thing you're gonna see is those fingerprints and nut scratches. But thankfully, fingerprints can just be wiped away. There's two camps of people when it comes to having phone cases like these. There'll be the people who prefer a transparent case to show off the color of their beautiful phone while protecting it at the same time. And others who aren't too bothered about seeing the backside of the phone while still getting that benefit of protection that comes with having a case. Let me know in the comments below which side do you fall in? The case is easy to install, snapping around the edges of your phone for what I would describe as a firm fit. Not as easy to remove though, but that's a good thing though, right? Let's move on to the feel. This case is made out of the familiar TPU on the back, which gives the case its rigidity, and silicon frame, which gives the case its flexibility, making it easy to put on, as well as giving you those valuable protective qualities. Being only 1.1 millimeters thick, the case without the phone is lightweight, and with the phone installed, doesn't really affect the weighty feel of the phone in hand, and it still keeps the whole slim line aesthetic of the phone. I find the iPhone 13 Pro generally quite a slippery phone in hand, and with this case, making it more comfortable to hold definitely makes you feel more assured about its safety, especially if you're worried about dropping your phone. But if you do want more grip, then there are other case materials that may be better for you. If you use MagSafe accessories for your iPhone, then this case probably wouldn't be ideal for you. You can really tell the difference between simple cases like this and ones that are MagSafe compatible. You can wirelessly charge your phone with a MagSafe charger, but there is almost minimal magnetic attraction, which is fine if you only lie your phone on top of the charger. But in any other position other than horizontal, your traction just isn't there. So don't be using this on its own with a car mount or a MagSafe wallet. But if you just simply use a MagSafe or wireless charger lying down, or even plugging your phone in, then this will be fine for you. If you have bought a case like this and want to invest in some MagSafe accessories, you can purchase the ESR Halot Universal Ring, which allows you to transform a simple case like this into a MagSafe compatible one. But as I said, if you haven't bought this and are still looking for a case and you want to use those MagSafe accessories, then you can get MagSafe compatible cases like this one for not much more than the cost of this one. I'll leave my review to this one up there and in the comments below. Precise cutouts for the phone's switches, ports and buttons make it easy to press and gain access to the part that you want. I'm not having to press the volume controls or the side button any different than I would without a case on. There's easy access to the ring mute switch, no obstruction of the two speakers, and there's more than enough room to insert the lightning cable into the port. Next is protection. Just what are the hybrid protective qualities of this case? In each of the corners of the frame there are air guard protrusions which absorb shocks and provide military grave drop protection on all sides of the phone from at least four foot. A feature that you'll see in a lot of ESR's protective cases. With the case on, the bezels provide a 1.2 millimeter surface clearance to the edge of the screen. And on the back, the camera guard gives a 0.55 millimeter surface clearance for the phone's camera lenses. Unfortunately, that camera guard doesn't remove that annoying flat table rocking thanks to the iPhone's unsymmetrical design. But there are few cases that actually do. So that's the ESR hybrid case for the iPhone 13 Pro. If you want a simple case that's going to look good, feel good, and protect your phone without being extra then this could be just for you. Probably best described as a case just doing what a case should do without any frills. I'll leave the links to this case in the description below. Let me know what in the comments below what you're currently using your phone to protect it, whether that be a case like this one, a case that enhances the iPhone's MagSafe technology, or whether you're a rebel and have no case at all. Press the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure to press the subscribe button and also press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.